faded by soup and I cube in the loop. And as you can see, we got your low pro FX1s, Babylon's Pro Edition. I was in the market for some new tools, new clippers, and they kind of fell out the sky. But this is the moment everybody been waiting for, man. How can I zero gap my low pros? How can I get them working the most precise as possible? How can I remove all the bottom lines out the fade, all the bottom guidelines out the fade, the skin fades, without actually using my trimmer? How can I do that? Well, man, you got to zero gap your clipper, and I'm going to show you how to do it. First, you want to get a Phillips screwdriver. You want to remove each screw, maybe about three turns, until the blade loosens and you can move it around. You don't want to take it all the way out. And once you get that blade moving, like how you see before you, you get it moving and you want to get it even. You want it to sit flush and you want the top to be even. And you slowly move the non-cutting blade down into the cutting blade. Now the object is to get the cutting blade as close as to the non-cutting blade as possible without it overlapping. Because when you overlap, you will cut a climb. So you want to get it close as possible without it overlapping. Move it around, adjust it, close it. Make sure you close it all the way so you can get an honest look on how it's going to look when the screws go back. Do that upwards to four or five times without it overlapping. Want to keep moving it around once you get it tight. And once you think you got it to your liking, you want to run your fingers across the top of it. You want to run your fingers across the top because if any part of the cutting blade has overlapped, it will snag. And if it's snagging your finger, it will cut a client. But once you get it to rolling, you're ready to rock and roll. Taking them guidelines out with ease. Faded by soup. Whenever you're in the Baton Rouge area, tap in.